This is Fido Friendly Travel Talk. Here's your host, Susan Sims. Hey everybody, this is Susan Sims with Fido Friendly Travel Talk, brought to you by Animal Radio, where we talk about the travel and lifestyle for you and your furry best friend. My guest today is Jackie Jolie with Equisol. This is a red light therapy blanket for animals. It caught my attention when I was worrying so much about my little dog, Honey, and and her uh, diagnosis for degenerative disc disease. So I could not wait to talk to Jackie about it. So, hey, Jackie, thank you so much. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. So I, I guess a, the one of the biggest questions is, why? I mean, what what spurred your interest in this uh, red light therapy and to create your company, Equisol? Yeah, so to keep that long story short, basically, I've been a canine and equine body worker for the last 15 years. So massage, rehab, um, myofascial stretching, you know, I work on a lot of performance animals. And of course, a lot of horse owners have dogs dogs blow ACLs, dogs have disc disease, dogs are getting cancer. And in fact, all of our animals are getting sicker and sicker sooner and sooner, kind of like their human counterparts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never really knew a lot of the patterns. They get blamed on genes a lot, which are part of it. But it wasn't until I got sick myself five years ago, I got Lyme disease and I healed myself naturally But as I was healing myself, a little gift of knowledge came to me about quantum health, which has a lot to do with light and how it affects our bodies in our whole environment. So like natural light versus artificial light. And that's a whole nother like podcast interview down the road for (laughs) sure. But learning about how powerful light is because it truly is the strongest, fastest energy source that we have in the existence of the universe. Um, It's super powerful. And so I had already been using a laser a few times in my practice before I truly learned all the information about the healing power of light. I used it on myself to overcome a lot of the side effects that I had from Lyme disease. And of course, anytime I do something with me, I always think about my industry and the animals. I've been an animal lover my whole life. And so I was like, okay, how could we bring this to the animal industry? Like they use lasers, but that's for a very isolated area. They're very expensive. You have to have a medical professional to use it. That's very inconvenient of all the appointments and stuff that you have to make. And the idea of a full body blanket of LEDs that are just as strong enough to make a physiological effect, but not too strong to where you can cause damage because with lasers you can. Um, And so that baby was born in my brain about four years ago. And so it's been just the whole system of starting the company, starting the patent, you know, finding manufacturers, design, trial and error case studies and now here we are that we've launched the dog blankets august 1st and uh we have some horse products coming out in november leg wraps and bell boots and then we'll have the horse blanket available next year so that's how it all started and how we got to where we are now so you're you're surrounded with animals but did you have the the test subjects uh that come to mind when you first developed this brilliant idea um and who were those test subjects (laughs) anybody I could get my hands on, to be honest. Um, I have two dogs of my own. They are younger, and I like to think that I keep them pretty healthy as is, but they did get lots of test studies on, like, the sizing of the blanket and the measurements and the trial and error. And then I did my own study, like, three months ago where I had, like, blood work done on them. I did red light for 30 days every day and then did blood work again. There wasn't tons of huge differences there, but only because, like, they're not – they're not sick, like they're healthy dogs right now, they're four and six, so they're still really young. Mm -hmm. But on the horse side, since I'm with horses every single day, I've been doing tons of case studies, which can just over relate to dogs all the time. Mm -hmm. So like red light therapy heals wounds faster than I've ever seen in my life. We've healed suspensory tears in 30 days, which is usually a 60 day healing process. We've healed uh, bone fractures in 45 to 60 days, which is usually a 90 day process. Um, we actually have a case study finishing up now that is for a dog that was paralyzed. Nothing worked like acupuncture, um, steroids, drugs, uh, massage. They tried everything. They have a wheelchair for this dog I and mean, they've spent a ton of money and lasers were starting to work on the dog, but it was a really expensive procedure for her to go three days a week. So she tried my blankets and within two weeks, the dog is now 
standing and walking on its own, like all over the place. <laughs> and well, so that's a testimony. Um, that's a testimony right there. I mean, you could just leave it at that. That's the end because well, for yeah, it's going to be a pretty big one. Yeah. I mean, that, um, that, I, have another, I have another one that like, this is actually pretty common. People will see their dogs like lick their paws and chew on their paws a lot. And sometimes it can be allergy related. Like you definitely have to get that kind of crossed off the list with your vet. But most of the time it's a pain response. You know, our animals can't verbally talk to us. They only have like their physical behavior and movements of something that they're doing to tell us something hurts. And so I've seen in my practice, a lot of times with dogs licking and biting on their paws, they've got restrictions in their spine and it's pressing down on on those um, nerves and it's causing pain. And so they'll kind of like lick their paw as just like a, a coping mechanism to calm themselves and calm their nervous system. And so I have a friend of a client of mine that has a little Jack Russell Terrier. A lot of the smaller dogs have a lot of back problems from jumping down on things. And so her dog was licking her paws all the time. And the vet was just like allergies, 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 but it wasn't going away. They changed diets. They took allergy shots, all these things. And so she started working with acupuncturist and chiropractor and that did help, but it never like stuck, you know, like she would go back to it 30 days later, she'd be like licking her paws again. And so she tried my blanket for a month as well and no more licking, like it's completely gone. Like it hasn't come back and it's been 90 days since she tried my blanket, which she already ordered one. So she has one coming, but um, yeah, it's completely gone. It went in there and healed that nerve. It went in there and hydrated the joints and the soft tissue around the spine. And that's what red light does. And so she's just healthy as can be now. You know, that's amazing that you even mentioned it. Honey's a, a Jack Russell Chihuahua mix. Uh, okay. Very, very active. She's eight. And, you know, as we discussed, and I had talked to you about this earlier, you know, when she was diagnosed with this degenerative disc disease, uh, it was a shock. But I, I noticed that she was licking her paws a lot. In fact, this week alone, I've noticed that she's doing that more. Uh it's not aggressive. It's not an aggressive licking, but she's, it's almost like you said, it's like a calming mechanism. So I'll be uh, very interested to see uh, where, where this goes. And so when you, when you're manufacturing these different sizes, uh, you've got your dogs and you've got the horses, the amount of lights that are going to be in these blankets. Um, and then the, I think what I'm really am trying to understand is the strength of this because yeah. it, for a person like would a person have a different uh red light therapy strength for an injury versus the animal okay so it's it's a little bit of a long-winded answer which i am because there's a lot of science so red light therapy has seven thousand scientific articles behind it proving its health benefits of, of many variations there's no other therapy or modality that i even know can claim seven thousand scientific articles and a lot of those scientific studies have been done on humans on mice on dogs horses rabbits all of that the thing is we're all mammals, right? Like even the humans are in the mammalian kingdom. So we are mammals just like them, our muscle, tissue, nerves, ligaments, tendons, they're all the same. They all function the same. Although we're bipeds and they're quadrupeds. Now they have fur and that's the only thing that's gonna make a little bit of a difference. But the thing that's important to know is humans and animals can use these, they're completely safe because they're made with LEDs instead of a very strong concentrated laser. With a laser, you have to have an, um, educated medical professional that owns one and you have to constantly keep it moving when you have it on the body whether a human or an animal because the the light is so concentrated and strong if you left it on one area too long you can actually cause damage mm. with my blankets we're using leds which is just light emitting diodes it's like your led light bulbs and the car and the house flashlight and so they're strong enough to create a physiological effect that creates those benefits of light but they're not too strong where you have to worry about causing damage like you do with lasers. Mm -hmm. So both humans and animals can use these. And actually out of all of those 7,000 scientific articles, most studies on red light therapy have been done with contact method, which means that the light is directly on the skin. And that's how you actually get the maximum absorption and penetration into the tissue that you're trying to affect. And most humans nowadays, you either have lasers or you have like red light therapy panels that you have to sit in front of. 
And if you were to do that with an animal, you're going to have a lot of reflectory effect to where you lose a lot of the irradiance of the light coming out of the device. And for animals, they do have hair, right? So they already have a thicker layer than humans to try to get down into. So that's why something like my blanket is actually the optimal method to deliver the optimal dosage of light because it's going to be direct contact to their body. Um, so it has red and near infrared wavelengths and the red light wavelengths, they hurt, they hit more of your su superficial stuff. So like your skin and your very base layer of tissue underneath the skin. So hair, wounds, things like that, scars. And then your near infrared is going to go all the way down to up to 50 millimeters of the body. So it can make it to your bones, to your ligaments, to your organs. And so it's going to be able to affect the microbiome and the heart and the lungs and bones and ligaments and tendons on your animals as well, safely. Well, I, I'm I'm reminded of our dog uh, Junior. We had a lab that you know passed at 14, and you know towards the end he had uh, arthritis. And I just wish you know this is only two years ago, right? Yeah. And, and I wish yes. you know that that was something other than you know pain meds. But um, we're going to talk some more. We're going to take a quick break, and uh, when we come back, we'll find out a little bit more. I mean, you've got so much great information. We'll probably have to have one more one more of these podcasts for sure. So Absolutely. everybody, hang tight, sit and stay. We'll be right back with more Fighter Friendly Travel Talk on Animal Radio. Patented multi-award winning hands-on gloves are the revolutionary all-in-one bathing, shedding, and daily grooming gloves sweeping the world with rave reviews. Wet or dry, hands-on reaches far beyond the traditional curry cones, mitts, shedding blades, metal bristles, and de shedders on the market today. Hands-on has changed the way we bathe, groom, and shed all of our animals forever. Shop now or find a local retailer at handsongloves.com. This is Fido Friendly Travel Talk. Here's your host, Susan Sims. Welcome back. This is Susan Sims with Fido Friendly Travel Talk with my guest, Jackie Jolie from Equisol. And before the break, we were learning so much about the red light therapy. And um, I know there the benefits uh, that we've already discussed. And, you know, I touched upon arthritis. And I don't know when a pet parent really, uh, once they're observing, hey, my dog isn't really you know, acting correctly. And uh, now the way things are, you know, you go to the vet and just like a doctor, oftentimes they're just saying, you know, take this pill. And I was really concerned with our dog junior uh, because then I started researching some of this medicine and I thought, geez, that's not good. That doesn't sound like it's it's good for their liver long-term. And then uh, now you're here on the market with um, your company Equisol and your dog soul. And so for the horses, what's it called? Horse soul? What is it called? It's, it's, Equisol is like the company name because, of course, horses are like the main direct passion. Um, but no, it's just called Equisol and then Dog Soul for the Dog Soul blankets. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's a it's so it's so uh, ingenious, really. And I know that um, the listeners will, will love hearing it and really get to think, start thinking about the, the health of their pets, that there is this option because we do these things for ourselves where a lot of us are going to use different modalities these days because there's just so more up there's much opportunity for us to get well and to heal our bodies because our bodies you know are made to 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 heal you know so you know i i'm just excited so i i know right now your company you started this idea four years ago but as far as someone coming online uh, to purchase, uh, are these blankets now available? Is this something they need to order and anticipate how long to get to? What what should our listeners do? Uh, no, they can go on now and order the blankets. When we launched in August, it was as a pre-order. I had to get the initial inventory sum set up, but actually they are currently like on their way as we speak right now from our manufacturers. So I will have my first big batch of inventory in within the next 10 to 12 days. So people can go on now. I'm sure by the time this is out for the recording, they can go on now, order the dog blankets. We'll have horse leg wraps and bell boots releasing uh, November 9th in case there's dog people that also have horses that are listening. Um, so yeah, you can go on. There's already a measurement chart where you can check your measurements of your dog to see which size is going to be most beneficial to work for them. And uh, that's where we've kind of come in and thought of a lot of the different unique designs that are on our blanket. First of all, doing a blanket in general is already thinking of a holistic whole body approach to the dog. Like 
yes, you might have an ACL tear or you might have like low back pain from disc degeneration and people are like, well, we're just going to laser that part or just buy a red light pad and just do that part. But the whole body is connected by fascia, ligaments, tendons, blood vessels, veins. And so the red light can go in as a whole body and say the whole body needs to work better and stronger to help, yes, the injured area, but then also the rest of the body to function better because as a body worker and my own self trying to stay, you know, healthy and fit, if you've got one area of pain, something else is compensating. I 100% guarantee it. So as a whole body approach, the blankets are going to be able to help the whole body. In addition, every single one of our blankets, horses and dogs are going to come with a belly band that wraps underneath like the abdomen. We will be the only therapeutic blanket on the market compared to magnet, magnetic blankets, PMF blankets, all the ones that are out there. Nobody has a belly band. And so that came from my body work of like, we don't pay enough attention to the ventral line because they're quadrupeds down on all fours and it's just out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. But we have, you know, castration scars, we have spay and neuter scars, we have C-sections, we have bloat surgery, we have all kinds of issues that are on the ventral line that need help and support as well. Um, so our blankets, full body with a belly band. And in addition to comparing to other red light therapy products, including lasers, most of those only have one or two wavelengths included in their healing. Ours are going to have five. We're going to have two red light wavelengths and three near infrared wavelengths. And that's giving a more full spectrum of healing that the animals would typically have gotten from the sun. Um, and that comes from science and research from Russia, who was studying this decades before we were. Um, and so we're really coming with like full potential benefits to have the optimal, most effective red light therapy blanket on the market for animals. I, I wish you so much success. I, I really do. I think this is brilliant <laughs> and, and a, a long time coming. So where is the best place for our listeners to go and check out your product line? Yeah, so our website is already up and live. You can go to www.equisol.life. So that's E-Q-U-I-S-O-L dot life, L-I-F-E. We also have two social media pages at the moment. We're on Facebook under Equisol and we're at Instagram also at Equisol. We'll eventually add on, you know, YouTube and TikTok and all that stuff when I have more free time. <laughs> but those are the two sites that you can find us now. That's that's wonderful. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. I can't wait to share and light up the way to animal wellness globally. That's it for Fido Friendly Travel Talk. For more information about today's show or just about traveling with Fido, log on to FidoFriendly.com. Until next time, travel safe and leave no dog behind. This is Susan Sims for Fido Friendly Travel Talk. 